Hey everyone, Mr. Sujano here. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to configure your on-screen gamepad in RetroArch for Android. Let's get started. So the best place to get RetroArch on Android, if you don't have it already, is from the Google Play Store. It's absolutely free. So for the purposes of this video, I've got a Game Boy game playing right now, and you can see that the controller isn't quite right. There is an icon, it looks like the refresh icon on the very top of the screen there, beside the RetroArch logo and the big white dot. So all you have to do is press that button and that brings the controller to the proper orientation. So whenever you switch your phone, so if you switch it this way, again, you have to hit that refresh button and that will align the controller to the proper angle. So again, once you see me switch it here, press the refresh button or the orientation button, whatever you want to call it. And you can see that the controller is now proper. The next step is you hit that retro arch icon, which brings you to the main menu. Once you're in this menu here, scroll down to on screen overlay, press that button. And then it brings you to a few options here. What you want to select is overlay preset. It says retropad.cfg. So click that. There are different menus here you want to click game pads. So they have different options here depending on what you're using. They have a DualShock option, a Game Boy, GBA, Genesis, N64. Since I'm using a Game Boy, I'm going to head into the Game Boy folder here and you can see that there's one overlay available, gameboy.cfg. So I am going to click that. And that's pretty much it. Now I can click back, scroll back up to resume and you can see the Game Boy Control Panel here. However, again, it's in the wrong orientation. So I'll hit the Refresh button or the Orientation button. And there you have it. Now I'm set with a Game Boy Controller for a Game Boy game. And I do highly recommend doing this uh, because the Game Boy Controller, like the Game Boy has two buttons. And using this, the D-pad's bigger, the buttons are easier to press, and it's a much more preferred layout than to have a whole bunch of buttons that you really don't need. And just to show you what this looks like in landscape mode, if I do hit the proper orientation button, uh, you can see, I'm going to move my head out of the way here, but you can see that the D-pad and the buttons don't get in the way of the screen. It looks really nice. Anyways, that's all I've got for today. If you like the video, leave a like. If you didn't like the video, leave a like. Hit that subscribe button to stay tuned for other videos that I'll have that are hopefully helpful for you. Thank you, everyone. Take care.